Jason Parsons is back from his wild adventures. Tell us where you went. I went to Dubai for an entire week. An entire week? Yeah. And I like I want to know everything about it. You brought pictures back for us. I did. Should we look at the pictures first? Well, I just, I mean, I want to know what Dubai is like too, because I didn't actually see any of it. Why? I was sick the whole time. You're kidding. Well, then who well, is this? Wait, so, we've got so, a picture. Hold well, on, we've got thing. a picture right you know, now. Luckily, I brought my sous chef along, so that should have been me. <laughs> Right? That's not you? That's not me. That's my sous chef, Mo, in the middle of a desert, you know? So, so he had fun for and, you? And look, that's, that should have been me on a camel going around. <laughs> but no, I'm in a hotel room, and he's like gallivanting all over the place, right? So you were sick the entire oh, time? It was like, you know, I land, well, as you were just saying, you, know, you start to feel a little bit dodgy, and then you get on a plane for 13 hours. It's over. And boom. And I always say, oh, I think I had a bit of the flu. I haven't had the flu. Right. Because that was the flu. I lost nine pounds in six days. <gasps> oh my yeah. god! Which was great because I went to a wedding on the weekend, so it was like, hey, my suit fits. Ladies, um, don't do this at home. But you know what? It was an amazing trip because we did still get to cook for the Canadian consulate. Oh, we did a whole nice. entire Canadian food festival over there. Brought great Canadian products. Yeah. Um, I was in the hospital uh, in the hotel room, and then I'd come down and do the old, hey, cook the demo, and all like this. <laughs> and then I would go back upstairs and kind of. Do you hear the Freudian slip there? He was in the hospital room. Yeah. Like you felt bad. Oh yeah. I you was felt like, very we're bad. Talking Intravenous drip the whole you're thing. You're kidding yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, your sous chef took some nice photography yes. for us. We yeah. have some more really nice pictures. Like this looks like some kind of an outdoor cabana sort of thing. You see the rugs on the ground. Oh. You see the gorgeous. He, well, he went on a whole beach, uh, I mean, a, a desert tour where he was yeah. on the camels and saw this whole outside, like, this lives oh, like Lawrence beautiful. Arabia. Beautiful. You know, he went to the spice market. Yes. You know, brought all these spices back and said, Look what you missed. I'm like, oh, thanks, Mommy. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, but, you know, the spices were oh, unbelievable. That's beautiful. Over there. And actually, the uh, the, the um, soup I'm going to be doing later in the show yeah. is because I'm in a, you know, I keep saying a hospital room, but I need something bland. So I'm ordering, yes. and I say, can I get the most neutral? I want chicken noodle soup. Come on, yes. I'm Canadian, right? Yeah. They're sending me up fiery, spicy, <laughs> red lentil bisque that you're like, ah! I can't do this. <laughs> My stomach so, cannot handle this. Yeah. You did end up cooking, though, as you mentioned. We have a yep. shot of you here in this gorgeous-looking restaurant. Oh, this was. We were at the Jumeirah Emirate Towers, and we partnered with Air Canada, so the whole thing was just done first class. Nice. And I mean, you know, we had all different. Actually, it's 70%, I think, of Dubai are expats, so it's all right. international. Right. So it was great. And I was actually in the elevator, and yeah. somebody saw my jacket and went, "Pelor Estates." I was just there two months ago. Oh, so it's that's an amazing cool. global feeling to think that you know we're internationally recognized. Yeah, so. you got to go. Back now, yeah, you got to go sure. back and do it properly, Jace. Well, you know, I looked outside the uh, the hotel window and it looked like a really cool city. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Later on in the show, we're actually going to talk to Shona. She's going to have a planning, a vacation, and safety tips in yeah. case something like that happens. Vitamins, take vitamins. Yeah, the stuff you want to consider before you get on a plane. Yeah. We're going to have that later in the show. But let's talk about some of the recipes oh. um, that maybe you would have experienced if you were out and about it, in Dubai. You know, it was amazing. Yeah, I know. Um, but it was the spices that I thought were fantastic. You right. Know, you know, I, I what I'm doing today is I wanted to show you a little bit of like I've got you know fresh ground ginger okay. you know we got a little bit of uh, uh, turmeric in there which so good for you oh so I mean I should have been eating this the day before I went right. away on vacation you know a little bit of uh, chili powders in there uh -huh. you know the cayenne and I mean you know here's the thing if I, if I was doing this at home it'd be like a Just drop. a little bit. But, you know, in Dubai, we're putting in the spices, you know, yep. like they really is a bite. You want to taste it. And then you put yogurt in here, which oh, is nice. really interesting, you know. And it actually brings all the flavors together, but it also helps to marinate because then what we do is we actually add shrimp. Okay. And just, you know, you can go to the store and get the pre-peeled shrimp yep. already deveined. Um, but what you want to do is mix this up really well and just let it, you can leave it for about an hour, but if you can leave it overnight, even mm, better. That's the best. You know, yogurt is actually a really great tenderizer. It's a good seasoner, yeah. huh? Oh, yeah. It really throw that in there. brings it all together. And after, like, overnight, you can see all the juices come out. Look at that. That looks great. Isn't that amazing? And then it's, it's so simple. You're just literally just sauteing them off. Um, but the big thing with shrimp, though, is, and what I liked about over there was everything was all about the sides. You know, you need some, right. so you have this flavor that's so spicy, so hot, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I can't eat this, you know, well, especially my little wimpy English palate. <laughs> um, but then you have a refreshing something to go with it, and you combine right. it, and all of a sudden it makes sense. It's the, yeah, it's that yeah. back and forth, that yin and yang. Definitely. And so, I love that. I love that, having something to cool everything off. Yeah. So what I've got here is just a little bit of vinegar. Okay. All right. And then I'm adding 
A little bit of sugar just to kind of balance it out. Nice. All right. Oh, my sugar's a little crunchy here. It's a little bit crunchy. Yeah. Well, there we go. It's a little colder here than it is in Dubai, oh, I imagine. It was, you know what? It was sugar super perfect. It was around here. 21 degrees. Oh, nice. And it was like, you know, just sunny. Every, well, I think it rains like twice a year there. Right. It's crazy. A little bit of dill. Some good weather. And a little bit of caraway. Sorry, I could be helping you here, but no, it's okay. I'm letting you make up for all the lost time in Dubai. <laughs> you do all the cooking oh, you pass now. Me that right there. That's perfect. There you go. So this is the slaw, and it's literally cucumbers that have been seeded, peeled, shaved down, yeah. red onions, nice fennel, and fresh. you know, nice and fresh. And, and pickling is so easy because literally all you do is you bring this to a boil, yeah. and then you just pour it over top. Now, aside from the aside from the uh, the spices, was there anything else you noticed as distinctly? different about either the food preparation. Well, I thought it was interesting that it was really hot over there and yet the food was still very rich. Yeah, you, know, you find that a lot in hot countries. Yeah, though, I like, find. and I think it was people were very used to eating that. So whereas, like you know, we we would be uh, going into all the salads. There wasn't a lot of salads going on. Right. You know. Um, so I was really surprised at that. Yeah. And um, but what was interesting too is the fact that everything's flown in. There's not a lot of local because oh, okay. it is. I mean, picture this. It's desert, 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 and then this green center Dubai. Right. I mean, the amount of water they must pump on these things That's is amazing. That's right. It's like a, it's like Vegas. It place looks like it's a, a golf completely course. Completely made up, and yeah. it's in a desert, uh, right? It's surreal. I mean, we were on the 43rd floor and we're looking up at most of the buildings. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so. Doesn't that scare you a little bit? Um, it's so, funny. Like, I'm scared of heights, so but yet I love the kind of the, the thrill about it. So I yeah. kind of like to put myself in a situation where I don't... Yeah. You? yeah, I know. I that didn't get to go up... Good. Well, my sous chef got to go up the tallest building in the world. <laughs> so he showed me pictures of it. Um, but so here's the thing. There's you know, no uh, regret or hatred there at no, all. No, no, no. Everything's totally cool. He's not getting a day off for another month. Like a day off. Um, uh, he's actually off to Japan next week, but oh, I mean, we won't even get into that. <laughs> but uh, so here's the recipe, though. Okay? okay, you take shrimp, you marinate them, you get all those spices. You can Man, modify the spice good. anyway. Isn't that amazing? Mm. And then you literally just give it a nice sear. You're just cooking them. You're not looking to brown them. Yeah. Um, you put them in a nice dish like this. The slaw goes on the side. Yeah. And you could take roti bread. You could take yeah. tortillas. Grill them up. Put them on the table like that. It's a great centerpiece. They can make their own little wraps. Yeah. Flavorful, refreshing. And spicy. And spicy. Yeah. That might be the other thing also, just the preparation, the fact that every, but everything's being taken out and you yeah. assemble it together. Definitely eating a lot with your hands. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of cool. I love Loved that. Uh, we put all of our recipes at cityline.ca.